real this time. Okay, so this guy, he's selling like, you know, like cool weapons and like stuff, but he has some awesome fidget spinners. Like this thing is so cool. I bought this one. And he has a Captain America one that looks so sick. He has like duos, you know, he has little uh, like rectangle edge ones. Like, it's all so cool. And then he has like, you know, like Overwatch weapons. It's like, and then he has like little action figures. Like this is, but this place is sick. So cool. I also have another hat with, um, you know, all like where you can put Legos on stuff, so it's all so cool. So the guy's name is Cosiso. Check out Cosiso on Instagram. Wow, you can really look mean. <laughs> it says selfies with me for free. Let's get a selfie, guys. Awesome. Hey guys, be sure to share when she changes her mind later. Be sure to catch this, check this guy out. Golden King Toys. That's what it's called? Yeah. My last okay no, I, I'll pay you back for it, Dad. Please, 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 please. Is it okay if we come back? <laughs> Can I get it for five? I hope there's people in the room for my panel because I gotta go now. So, yeah. Thank you. Like, probably a year maybe because I was just like 
every idea that I came up with was either either taken or I didn't really love it enough to keep it. Yeah. Um, so my mom and I, at the end of the day, just sat down for like seven hours and came up with the username. And I said, well, I love cute things, and kawaii is cute in Japanese. And um, I like to make people happy, and, I, and I'm happy, a happy person. So why don't we just do happy with um, H-A-P-P-I-I to match kawaii instead? Very cool. So you guys use uh, uh, real life adventures and you know personal interests to launch your YouTube channel. Um, how how did you build your following? Um, well, it really took off when um, I got a mermaid tail. Um, That's really cool, by the way. <laughs> I got my money and got it, and then um, my brother got one too. And I and because we had a YouTube channel at that time, we just started making the show about it, and it just kept going. <laughs> Very cool. And then, um, Baron, how, how did you build your following? Well, I feel like the key to building a following is to find what you love and to stick with it. Yeah, like, if you like gaming, gaming, like, if you like gaming and you know you're gonna like it for a long time, then pick gaming as what you're gonna do. But, um, if you like gaming just for now, you actually like this thing a lot more, let's do that. Like, I like Asian things in general. I've, I've loved it since I was like two years old. I don't know why. It's just been something I've always loved. And um, um, so I decided to make my channel about that. And that's how you build a following is by keeping it consistent with what you do. So, so that comes back to having uh, pre-planning ideas on what to post and, and having like a set schedule in terms of posts. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. I want to post it. Every single, at least once a week. Yeah, at least once a week. And yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, exactly. A certain day or time to post because you know, like regularity, it it yeah, helps your important. yeah, it helps your followers know when they should expect a video and then it helps them remembering you because yeah. at some point everyone really forgets. Too. So if you like only do it like once or twice a month or like yeah, once or two months, yeah, they'll, they'll forget about it. They'll be like, wait, why did I send this to you? <laughs> What 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 what, what yeah, did I post a video? Who is this? Weeks. <laughs> yeah, I haven't posted a video in like two months. <laughs> what what is this? So you have to keep it consistent mm -hmm. and keep the theme consistent. That's really smart. But if you guys get additional ideas, you can branch out with other uh, other shows on your channel yeah. or do collaborations with other YouTube. Yeah, shows. collaborations is yeah. really important for the following because then some of their um, their following and their community will start liking you, and some of your community will start liking them. So it's like a trade off. And it's really good to help build each other's communities. So yeah, yeah. So it's it uh, the YouTube community is a lot about teamwork, right? Exactly. That's really cool. And um, kind of the flip side of that, because we talked about the nice aspects of the community. How do you guys deal with the haters? How do you guys deal with the negativity that can sometimes come up during YouTube? Few words. Ignore them. <laughs> yeah, ignore them. <laughs> yeah. But um, some people, I know, it's hard for them to ignore the haters. Mm -hmm. So. Just remember that every hater comes like 50 lovers, <laughs> because the bigger you are, the more haters you're gonna get. It just it, 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 the more people that love you, the more people that hate you. That's what I always think. So every time I see hate comment, I'm like, well, that means that I'm just getting. I have that they have something to hate on. So that's 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 the that's the a way great I attitude it. to have too. And and Aria, how about how about you? How definitely agree. Like when I see someone who's hating in comments. I just think, well, they have something to hate on, so we must be doing better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, a piece of advice for everyone starting out in terms of dealing with some types of negativity is just know that know that for every one person that you're touching positively, sometimes yeah, exactly. Sometimes you'll get some people that are not super nice. But don't let it get you down. Very cool. What's the best part about being a YouTuber? Again, I, I didn't really have any many friends that like the stuff that I like, so um, I decided, well, there's people on the internet that like stuff that I like, 
So I um, recorded my first episode. It was about just about all the things that I'm obsessed with. It's called my recent obsessions, I think. <laughs> and um, I talked about all of them, and all the things that I like, like anime, K-pop, and different things. And I got comments that were also talking about like, like oh, me too, and stuff. And it's like it's like building a, a family, a community of people, and it's really that that's my favorite part. It's just having people. Have fun with and build a community. Finding your fellow geeks and getting yes, bond. With finding them. your fellow your fellow geeks in the anime. <laughs> so I say okay. my favorite part is probably like well like opportunities and yeah. things like sometimes like bunch of balloons. Yeah, you've probably heard of them. Like you know the whole thing with the balloons. Bunch of balloons. They sent us a big box of bunch of balloons with this new thing they're doing where there's like hidden minions inside. Wow. Hidden minion water balloons. And they wanted us to do a show about them, and also, you know, sometimes people will send other like, companies and like toy companies will give us maybe discounts or. That's super yeah, cool. That products. is so cool. Is about... That is a plus. What what's what's your favorite thing that they've gotten merchandise wise? I mean, I guess the most recent it was I just got a discount on this really cool uh, Captain America fidget spinner. So, nice, you know, nice. It was, it was, not recent, but, um, I got sent a ton of Shopkins to unbox on my channel because they're super cute. And I got a ton to open it. I've never done a toy opening on before on my channel, but it was so adorable. I could not pass it up. Like, I love these so much. They're so cute. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. And I did it. And I'd never done an unboxing before, but it was like a really fun experience too. So I had a lot of fun making it. And I, I really, now, now I have like a Shopkin set on the back of my set. On awesome. the very back, you can still see it. Yeah, so that was my favorite. How how do you guys keep yourself grounded with with the success? I mean, not everybody your age has you know YouTube followers. Not everybody has this worldwide community that they're able to talk to at least weekly. Like how how do you guys how do you guys uh, keep yourself grounded? Basically, uh, whenever I start getting a big head, my mom basically tells me, "Remember, you're not the only one." <laughs> and um, I still own this house. <laughs> <laughs> Very um, wise words. I also have like other things to do, like family and friends and school, so I think that's really how. Um, wait, keep yourself proud in what way? Like, oh, uh, in terms of uh, the success you guys are, are experiencing. Like keeping, keep it successful? Or, or even just um, uh, keeping from getting, because you guys are so cool. Like, you guys don't yeah, have egos have at all, which yeah. is wonderful. You have to remember that everyone's a person, mm -hmm. and everyone has, everyone's cool in their own right, you just gotta get to know people. You just gotta, to, I'm, I'm, I'm just a humble person. I, I've been taught that if, like, I'm an actress as well, and I, I'm used to getting um, a lot of auditions and um, not as many parts as auditions. Like, you don't get it every single time, oh, obviously. Right. So um, there's a lot of, like, rejection, but I don't really take this rejection anymore. Like, I used to at the very beginning, but I don't do it anymore. I, I think it's because um, if they didn't, if someone else got the part, it was meant to be their part, not yours. So why are you jealous of them? Because you would have fit it anyway if they got it. It's not what they wanted. So you always have to think about, well, if that didn't happen to me, then that's not supposed to happen to me. If that happened to me, then I'm very happy to have it happen to me. And I'm super grateful and remember that everyone also wants that some in some way. They all everyone wants to have something cool happen to them. So Absolutely. And I, I think that that's that's you know a really important thing for all you young people that are wanting to start YouTube channels. Like when you guys start building that following and you find that success, you know, like like you know, uh, the Eccles and, and uh, Merritt mentioned, you know, everybody's a person, everybody has feelings, and uh, just knowing that sometimes you know success will happen to other people, sometimes it will happen to you. Um, exactly. Very very cool, you guys. Um, what do you want to work on or create in the future? <laughs> um, probably just you know more videos. Keep building the channel. Keep growing. Keep getting more subscribers. Any any specific videos? Is there is there a new series coming up that you guys want to think guys want to work on or expand the mermaid universe or more unboxing yeah, videos? More yeah. Well, my mom wants to make a feed well not feed but a short film where I run away. Um, oh wow. I don't want to. <laughs> um, but I guess, you know, that's one thing about branching out. He also wants to make like, uh, you know, another series. But mostly right now, you know, we're just expanding the mermaid 
the universe show and growing how many episodes, you know, more finales, more stuff. Yeah. Oh, so we're trying to reach a goal of 100,000. Oh, wow. Of subscribers because um, then we have this uh, like silver black yeah, thing. Play yeah, silver play button. And we're really what, excited what's, to what's the silver play button? Tell us a little bit about that. It's kind of like it's a it's a, it's a it's like the YouTube placard that you get. So like once you get I think it's a thousand, you get something, but you don't really get it. It's like like a you get like the wood one or something, and they, like, it just keeps going. Um, yeah, but they they, 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 they say it on rank um, oh, yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. That it's, they say it, but they don't actually give you anything. But once gotcha. you get like hundred thousand, they give you a silver they one. Once you get a, no, once you get a million, it's a gold one. Oh wow! Once, once, you, get, get, like, once you get ten million. It's a, like, it's a diamond one, but like you don't actually, diamond. it's it's fake diamond, and it, some people don't actually get it. I've never actually seen an actual unboxing, I don't think, I don't, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> and like, PewDiePie, he reached 50 million, so they wow. gave him like a special one, he's the only YouTuber that's ever reached 50 million, so they wow. gave him um, a special PewDiePie, like, statue thing, that was really cool. What what would be your guys' reaction when you reach, when you reach a million or 50 million? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have, I have, we're doing an animated series that we. Okay, oh, wow. so here's how it started. So me and my friend Ben are on our way to. We were on our way to. We we filmed a lot in the car, so mm -hmm. I don't remember which which thing it was. I think it was we were going to the Kirby event, but I'm not absolutely sure. And um, we came up with the idea of like superheroes, like what? Why is Batman and Robin called Batman and Robin? How do they? They don't. Bats and Robins don't have any correlation with each other. <laughs> And um, we came up with like that. Ben's just like, now you're just naming things that fly. What about Plain Man? And then we looked up Plain Man on the internet to see if there was any. And the first thing that showed up was Jacob was a Plain Man. And our best friend, one of our best friends named Jacob, he's, oh, he's a voice funny. actor on Amazing World of Gumball. Wow. And um, he plays Gumball. And he, we were just like, Jacob, you're a Plain Man? <laughs> How, how have you been keeping this from us? That, that's what the idea is for. People really liked it. They like do, do drawings, playing man. We're just like, hey, we should do an animated show. Like, just one episode, see how people like it. So we started a Patreon about it, and we've gotten some money for it. We're, and we're finishing, it's like, it's been basically animated at this point. We're just adding like backgrounds and editing things and tightening up different animations. And it looks, it's, it's going to be really cool. It's about awesome. this a play man protects. Um, forms of transportation doesn't protect people. He protects the transportation. <laughs> that's that's so awesome. That's awesome. And and that that uh, that will be uh, you think later this year? Yeah, probably around this year. Hopefully, cool. Um, it'll be up on my channel, and it's called Hawaii Happy. You probably already know that. But. <laughs> um, how does how does uh how does it work collaborating with your families? Like, what, do, do do your parents help uh, record it? Do they come up with ideas? Yeah, yeah. My, my mom helps me record it because she's really, she's, um, she used to be a photographer, a photographer, now she's a producer, and she um, is really awesome. She's creative and awesome stuff. I love her a lot. Love you, Mom. And um, she helps me record my episodes, like making sure the camera's focused, making sure I, like the lighting's okay, and um, just she just helps me um, with the whole editing, like just like the whole, post-production and with filming it because I'm not really the best with cameras so she helps me with it and I come up with most of the ideas she also helps me with that like if I'm in a, in a little bit of a writer's block of episodes sure I um she helps me out come up with ideas but she just ends up like recommending things that I, I would have come up like oh, why didn't I think of that you're so right and um so yeah my family is really helpful and then how about you guys, Trick and Aria? So my mom, like, she is a producer. She has been a producer. She will continue to be a producer. So she comes up with lots of ideas. My dad ignores half of them and then puts <laughs> off the others. Um, he does all of the editing and oh, wow. the filming. Um, you know, my sister, we supply some ideas, but we're mostly just the actors. Very cool. Yeah, and he, um, he's a cameraman, editor, and he 
um, post the video, so without him, I don't think we would even have a YouTube channel. That's awesome. Um, so do, do you guys feel like it brought you closer together as a family? Like, is this a really special experience you guys get to share that sometimes your other friends, you know, like not, not everybody's a family of YouTubers. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I guess like since we've had it for like four years, I guess I mean I can't really remember a time where we didn't have the YouTube channel, so I don't really know if we did or didn't. Sure. Just, yeah, it is always has been and always will be. I guess. That's just the way it feels. Yeah, I think it does bring us closer together because I mean we have to work together to make the videos and post it and have the YouTube channel. So yeah. Um. I have all my I have a lot of friends and um, I have my sister Marlo on a lot because I find it easier to talk to someone and and the camera than just the camera and myself. Yeah. So and also my friends are really funny and they help bring out the funniness of myself. So um, I feel like it's brought me closer to my friends That's and my wonderful. sister and it's, it's it's and my whole family. It's been really fun. That's so wonderful. Um. What is your favorite thing to geek out about in real life? Like, what is the one thing that you can't help but squee about in real life? I don't know if I can squee about <laughs> anything. Um, <laughs> um, but I really, uh, I really do enjoy nature and animals. Um, also, I really like The Flash and Green Arrow yeah. and Legends of Tomorrow. You know. So I really like Marvel and the DC Universe. Mm -hmm. um, I like books a lot. I think that's really what I'd say. What, what are some of your favorites? Um, Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, Fantasy Valkyrie. Very cool. Lots of fans there. Um, I like everything like from Asia in general that includes anime and K-pop and um, I, I'm actually learning Japanese right now, and then after that I'm going to learn Korean, and then after that I'm going to learn Chinese, and I'm going to keep going. But, um, yeah, whenever anyone like, mentions, mentions Japan in history class or something, I'll be like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> what did you just say? And um, so, like, and any, any, especially when anyone mentions K-pop at the moment, since that's my, the, since I, um, every time I find something new I like about Asia, it, like, I, after I figure out everything, I like a bunch of another thing that I want to learn all about. So right now I'm learning all about K-pop right now. So if anyone ever mentions like um, like Girls Generation or XO or BTS, I'm like, hello, <laughs> will you be my friend? <laughs> That's awesome. And, and um, I think you also mentioned some gaming stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I love Nintendo so much. Um, I love uh, Mario Kart. I love uh, Yoshi's New Island. I love Kirby. Kirby was my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when I was a little kid, I used to love playing Wii Fit. Um, I love, I just, I love Nintendo a lot. I also like um, Project Evo, which is an anime rhythm game. Wow! So I love music and I love um, Asian things as well. So it like com combines all those things. I've been playing that for like two or three years, so I've gotten pretty good at it. I hope <laughs> not like a pro pro, but I, I'm, I'm in the middle. What um, would you guys like to? Continue pursuing filmmaking or, or YouTube, like as, as you know, or is there a specific area? I know you guys mentioned, um, of course, being in front of the camera, but does editing, producing, writing, like does any of that appeal? Do you think that you can do it all? Um, well, when you could do it all, I don't know, but I probably could. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, would, I definitely want to continue the YouTube channel you know, for as long as I can. Yeah. Just not stop. What, uh, what, what aspect do you like most? Do, do you like being in front of the camera, or do, do you want to learn some of the camera stuff that you mentioned with, with your dad, or, or editing, or, or, any, or are you just like being in, in front of the camera? Yeah, I would like to do all of it, you know, like if I could. Um, just, you know, I'd like to learn it all. Awesome. Same with me, I mean, um, one time I filmed myself um, doing a video, and, edit, and I also edited it. Wow, uh, nice. And, yeah. How was that experience? Was, was it nerve wracking? Was it frustrating? Or was it just awesome? It was kind of frustrating at times, but it was also pretty awesome. Um, 
Can you say that question one more time? Sure. Um, uh, do you want to pursue uh, filmmaking in general, or, or do you want to okay. focus um, in, in, in terms of staying in front of the camera, or do you want to learn some more behind the camera stuff? Uh, I've, I've been in the camera, in front of the camera, like my whole life. Like, yeah, my mom's a, my mom's a photographer, so like the first thing that she did was like take a photo of me. So like I have pictures of me when I was a lot of pictures of me when I was a kid. Um, and I, after that, I became an actress because I was like I really wanted to. My mom was just like, do you really want to? We're not going to do this unless you really want to. Like, yes, I really want to. And um, then I, I, became a, I became a YouTuber. And I, I feel like I've always loved being in front, of the, in front of the camera because I always get to make people smile. I hopefully make people <laughs> smile. And that's my goal. And um, But we also have an animated series that's like, again. And I, I, I really want to, um, I'm not good at drawing at all. But I like, I like coming up with ideas and coming up with jokes. And helping write. So, yeah, right. so I like yeah. help writing the script. Um, I like help, um, like helping character design. Even though I can't draw, I'll be like Marlo, like what if they look like this? And I'll like explain because I have, I like explaining things because I can't draw. So I, I can like talk a lot about one how one thing looks. Sure. So I can describe things really well. So I'll like describe what a character looks like. And I'll just like, ooh, what if we have this? I like doing that with her a lot. Um, I, just, I want to be able to do it all. I think that's my problem. I want to be everything, but I can't. So it's hard to focus on just one thing. But right now, I'm trying to just focus on my YouTube channel and making more episodes and focusing on getting an even bigger following than I already have. Very cool, you guys. Um, what do you think the future of YouTubing is? I feel like it's probably going to be like, there's already some videos out there from Matt Geo and stuff. Uh, the 3D, the 360 videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. 360. Yeah, for sure. Like, where you can use the arrow page and look around. Um, it's probably going to be the like, future of YouTubing. Probably, you know, also, like you said, eventually it will be a you know, virtual reality. Yeah. Like, where you can do YouTube in, like, a virtual reality headset. People can or, come like, hang out with you while you guys are making a YouTube video. Oh, or maybe cool. eventually it becomes somehow a like, 3D. Yeah, with the proper technology. That would be really, those unboxing videos would really pop. <laughs> that, that was terrible, sorry guys, that was, that was a terrible joke. But yeah, but please, please continue. Um, I agree with Drake, um, and I also think um, you could, YouTube could also go um, two different ways. You could go, um, more YouTubers could become like really big, or it could be harder to find an audience because we're about to Exactly, yeah, that, that's true. That's a really good point. I feel like YouTube is the future. Like yeah. it's like the more the future of YouTube, like YouTube is the future. Like I don't even have cable anymore. You cancel cable because I don't watch it anymore. Yeah. It's like how long has it been since you watched TV? I'm like five or four months. <laughs> Six. She's just like we don't need cable anymore. Yeah. We're just gonna cancel it. Like I haven't watched in a year. Oh, I've been watching. My sister hasn't watched in a year. But like none of us do. So we just ended up just we just watch YouTube. I mean, I feel like everyone at this point watches YouTube. But if not, their kids will watch YouTube. I watch YouTube. And um, I feel like <laughs> I feel like everyone in this room has probably watched YouTube, and I feel like even when more little kids that grow up with yeah. YouTube grow up, um, then the bigger YouTube will get. I feel like it's literally on its rise right now. That's amazing. So, so like this is a great time to start, right? Yeah, exactly. If you don't start now, I feel like. Yeah, you, yeah, you should. should. <laughs> because it's, it, there's going to be too many big ones out there. Yeah. Like, there's going to be too many PewDiePies out there. And it's going to be hard to find your community because they've all, because your community's already split up. Yeah. There's so many different ones. And you have to collect yeah. your people and, like, find your family before your family finds another family. You know, kind of type thing. Yeah, kind of like, like you're saying, you know, with all the big ones. And it's like, if you're just starting, it's not like, you know, because, you know, with all the algorithms, yeah. it's like, there's like six different lists of like wow. videos and channels when you search up any channel. Wow. So it's like, exactly. like, like, let's just say, oh, like, I'm just going to make a brand name, like a channel called Bob, right? <laughs> like, yeah, maybe there's a really big Bob that has like, <laughs> five, like 50,000 subs. And then you can go to like the seventh page, and there's gonna be like Bob two hundred one, wow. and it's gonna have like one. Yeah. Like it's just because. Yeah. But like if you start now, like no one wants to go through all those pages to find a channel. Yeah. So the only yeah. people that you will really find is like your friends and family, or maybe you know their friends and family, and maybe that's like really the one way to grow. Because like when it first started, any name if they search up that name, it's there, or any sort of topic, it's there. But now since there's like 10, 11 pages. 
It's hard for yeah. people to find your video unless you're already yeah, so it's, big. It's, if you probably didn't have as many subscribers, it would be hard to find them because there's so many YouTube there's so many YouTube channels with the same name as him, you know? And it's yeah. like um to, to add on to that the, al the whole algorithm thing, I feel like soon YouTube is just gonna be in your ocean of videos. I mean it kind of already is, yeah. but it's, it's growing. Yeah, it's, like it's gonna be like the, yeah, yeah, it's like the <laughs> trying to see at this point. And like it's trying to find one mo water molecule in that huge ocean, right? It's really hard. But you better, if you want to start, you better start now before the ocean gets bigger. And it's even hard to find yeah, to your video. <laughs> yeah, this is finished with the Pacific. And and going along that, do, do you guys have any advice for people who want to start YouTube channels? You know, I see a lot of awesome, young, exciting faces out there, and maybe they're getting some good ideas in terms of how to start. So kind of like, you know, a couple key things. Like I said, you know, you want it to you want to post regularly, you know, consistently. Important. Also, um, don't give up. It's going to take a like people have always have this fake thing of YouTube where they think if they start they're gonna get really big in a month or two. Yeah. Like they think they're yeah. gonna get like you won't you won't even break a thousand subscribers for at least like three, four months. Yeah. Unless, you know, like you post every day or something, like unless you or really, or you have like tons of like friends that are telling like, their friends. Yeah. You won't you won't break a thousand for a while. Yeah, there's some people that like have done it for like years and years and don't even have over five thousand yet. Yeah. So it, it I feel like it's gonna get even harder. So yeah, you just you just have to you know you kind of just have to stay with it. Yeah, determination. Yeah, and also you but you know like she said earlier, um, choose a topic, yeah. stick to the topic, and if you want to branch out, you have to keep going with that topic and not stop. And you yeah. have to literally branch out. You can't just like metaphorically, you can't just plant another tree. You have to change a branch on the tree because if you just stop whatever you're doing and change, all those people that you've already they'll stop watching. You know, yeah. I don't care. They're like, wait, wait where's the channel? channel? Like, the, what? Like, yeah. I don't like anime. Now it's like, now it's comics. Like, I like anime, and I guess comics are cool, but I don't, I, don't, I watch anime cool. So the other stuff, like, you yeah. have to find a top, find a topic or, or a series of topics that like yeah. are under the same category, like yeah, just things in general. Or like, yeah, like with ours, you know, we didn't start doing mermaids till at least a year after our channel actually started. We were doing like nature videos or like videos about like what we were doing. Um, we still do that, you know. Yeah. For like. Well, <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, even so, like, you know, it's an example, you can't stop doing whatever you started. You exactly. can do other things, but let's say you posted one week every day a live stream or a vlog of just what you were doing that day, you cannot stop. Yeah, you have you to keep stop. You have it's to do not. the yeah. same thing over, you can't jump around. Oh, yeah. like, once you find yeah. your thing, stick with your thing. Yeah, you can. You have to keep doing that vlog. You can add maybe like a mer like like a live action like show, a mermaid show or a gaming show. But you have to stick to that vlog every single weekend, every single day, whatever whatever the day is, whatever the time is. You have to stick to it. Yeah. And not change. No, wait, wait. I was gonna add on one more thing, but um, before I, I kind of forgot what I was gonna say. Quite <laughs> distracted because what he was he was saying the points, but um, yeah, it's really not. It's really important to find new thing and stick with it. Oh yeah, and think about before you start a YouTube channel, think, is this really what I want to do for a really long time? You have to really think about it before you start. Because if you start and you gain a following and then you're like, yeah, I'm going to take a break for like a year, yeah. no one's it's, gonna, all it's all gone. It's, no wow. one's going to remember you in a yeah. year, you know? Um, because people move on to different things that they like. So you have to, once you start a YouTube channel, you have to do it. And then Every week, you can take a hiatus for like a month or two, right? If you, if you're, it's really busy and you don't have time. Or right. you have to like, you can't like, you can't just you have to like, at least tell them. Yeah, you have to, yeah. you have to tell your audience that you're leaving if you are leaving. Do and it's little really little important to not leave too much or else they're gonna get yeah, bored. Do, do you guys make episodes ahead of time? Or do you yeah. record the fresh yeah, one yeah, every week? Yeah, for sure. Also to prevent, um, like, stopping. Choose a topic that you really, 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 really like. Really, really like. <laughs> and you know that you're going to like for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if, you, if you start, like, let's just say, um, you start your channel on video games like sure. Overwatch. Oh, sure. sure. Yeah. Oh, Overwatch. So let's just say you start your channel on Overwatch. You do Overwatch for two years and you get like, say, 10,000 subs, right? And then you're like, you know what? I don't like Overwatch anymore. Overwatch. I'm going to play. Um, uh, like I'm not even gonna play a game anymore. I'm just gonna review comic books now. No. And then, oh, then like, where's the video games? Yeah. Where's the video games? Right. <laughs> yeah, so it's maybe 
maybe a few of them, you know, like they're really hardcore to your channel, like half of them, you know, like the 5,000, like they'll stick to you, but then the other 5,000, the ones that are different for gaming, the, you'll lose them, you'll yeah. lose them all. Yeah. So, so find something that you love, get in touch with your own personal geek, Yes, exactly. And, and geek out about it. Um, so guys, we're, we're running a little short on time. I want to make sure that you guys can give some shout outs and also let these wonderful people know where else they can find you. Um, so if, if you want to give uh, your, your YouTube names again, your Twitters, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, that type of information, or any other projects you want to give a shout out to. Um, well, me and my brother's channel is called The Echoes. Oh, <laughs> she said. Um, you know, we also. Uh, I think you also talked about Denmark. I don't really look at the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, whatever we have. Um, but also, uh, I just want to give a shout out to this one guy. He uh, gave me a great discount, like I said, on the fidget spinner, and I said I gave him a little shout out on the channel. Why not now? I'm pretty sure his name is uh, Cosiso. That's his Instagram. It's Cosiso. You know, C O S S I S O. Cool. Yeah, I did. Promise fulfilled. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm Kawaii Happy on everything. On <laughs> everything on Twitter, Instagram. That's also really important, by the way, to make them all the same thing because Brand it's is really, really, really confusing, especially if you want to repost something from Instagram to Twitter and you have you want you just copy the thing, it'll be a different person. Oh, wow. Wow. Time that happens all the time with me, I'll be like, oh wait, that's not you. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? You, you have to make sure that it's always the same. I also have um at Barrett Layton my real name on everything because I'm also an actress, as I said, so, um, um, and Kawaii Happy is spelled K-A-W-A-I-I-H-A-P-P-I-I, -I -I -I, because happy spelled weird, so I have to make sure. <laughs> very, very cool, you guys. Um, one final thing, uh, is there a particular, um, uh, YouTube channel that inspired you? Do you want to give a shout out to another YouTube channel that inspired you? I didn't even watch YouTube. <laughs> um, and then I actually started watching um, Popular MMOs for like a half a year. And then summer started, and then I stopped, and then now I don't really watch anything. How, how about you, Aria? Kind of same. <laughs> Um, um, one of the people who inspired me when I was a kid was um, the Mommy and Gracie show. I'm actually I'm actually friends with um, them as them. That's awesome. I, I got to meet them at Climaton, which was a great experience because um, only YouTubers got to get how to go, and I got to meet so many so many amazing people. Wow. The YouTube community really is amazing. And um, but um, some other people that inspired me when I was um, just starting were like the Anime Man. He's a little. He's not as family friendly as I am. Because, um, he, he's a lot more disclaimer. Like, disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad, but um, it's not that inappropriate. But uh, like I was just like, he talks to his camera about anime, and I watch it. So, so you got inspired like, from from I watching want, that channel. I want, I want to talk to people about anime. That's I want awesome. to talk to people about my things that I like. So um, I was just like, I want to do that too. Um, and when I was just starting out, like my first YouTuber I ever watched was Tabuscus. I was the first YouTuber I ever actually really dedicatedly watched. That was like way back when, when I was like nine. Yeah. Like I've always loved YouTube ever since I was really little. That's awesome. I was on the computer when I was like two and a half, just browsing the web. And soon it'll all be in virtual reality. Yes. Um, I want to thank our panel one more time. Thank you so much, Drake and Aria Ethel. Thank you for having Mary us. Lincoln. Thank you guys. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, these guys will be around for some of your pictures or autographs. They're, they're going to be around uh, the convention a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be walking around the convention for the rest of the day probably. So. Very cool. And definitely follow them on YouTube. Thank you guys. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy kick on. Please subscribe by clicking the picture.